So what we're doing here is a standard vehicle um, inspection. I'm checking the windshield wiper blades um, right here to make sure that they are free of wear and uh, good for if it rains, especially since we live in Florida, it's super important. Um, here I am checking the uh, tread depth of the tires. I'll do all four. I'll do the two front or the two left rear front and rear the two right front and rear and I will record um, what I see the tread depth to be off of my tread depth gauge here I'm checking the battery to make sure that the battery is charged enough for the automobile um, checking the battery's life um, the machine I'm using here will tell me if the battery is good, if it needs to be a recharge, if it needs to be recharged, if it'll hold a charge, um, or whether or not it needs to actually be replaced. Here I'm doing a little jig because life isn't fun unless you're dancing, so got to do those little dances. Alright, my machine is printed, I printed out a, a receipt basically to say the health of the battery. I will attach that to my inspection sheet. Here I'm checking the battery for corrosion as well as looking for leaks on any hoses. Um, I'm going to feel around if I feel any moistness with my fingers. I'll check the hose further, make sure um, it's cracked, make sure it's not just a loose fitting. Um, I, on this vehicle, I actually didn't find anything wrong with any of the hoses. Here I'm actually checking the belt. I'm checking the belt for cracks to make sure that the belt, belt is uh, in good working order and isn't going to break on the customer. Um, keep them on the road. That controls all the accessories. Here I'm looking at a nasty uh, air filter, making sure that it's uh, good to go, but it was a little dirty, so I made a little face, but uh, it was actually in okay condition. I've seen worse. Here I'm checking all the fluid levels to make sure that everything is topped off at where it needs to be, um, making sure that uh, the customer doesn't run out of power steering fluid, brake fluid, any of those types of fluids. Here I'm checking the oil level, checking to make sure the oil is clean, make sure it's not too low, not too dirty. Um, I'll record my findings on my inspection sheet um, so that way the customer can see what I noted and what I found on the car. Here I'm checking the automatic transmission fluid. I actually had the car running. There was a lot of background noise so that's why I'm doing this narration. Um, the automatic transmission fluid was good as well. Here I'm checking the brake wear with a um, feeler gauge for the brakes. Uh, it tells me how many millimeters the brakes are, 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 whether or not they're good. And again, I'll record my findings on my inspection sheet um, again for the customer to see um, what I saw and uh, know that they're uh, safe on the road and not going to go running into the back of a car randomly. Now I've gone to the undercarriage of the car, I'm checking all the boots, I'm checking all the ball joints, uh, making sure there's no rips, tears, no obvious leaks. Um, I didn't see anything on the bottom of this car as I've seen on others where uh, it's leaking from the pinion or where the ball joints are busted, uh, the CV axle boots are busted, none of that is um, has happened on this car. Uh, I'm also going to check the exhaust, making sure that I don't see any holes penetrated with rust um, visually. 
as well as uh, with the car when I have the car running, listening for uh, exhaust leaks. Uh, on this car again, I did not see uh, any holes in the exhaust or any obvious signs of an exhaust leak. Here's a completed inspection sheet. Wanted to make sure you guys saw this. Um, it was finished and the car was good to go.